What up everyone? So uh, today, just be something quick, on my second rest day of the weekend, um, be truthful to you guys that when seasons change during the fall and winter months of the year, I suffer from seasonal depression. Now it's never been like clinically proven and I've never gone to see a doctor from it, but I just know. And um, I know it sounds weird that I would say I just know without any doctor proven whatever, but um, normally I just hide stuff and I just deal with it that way. And last year I got to a point where I remember something an old boss of mine said to me um, when my buddy passed away and she said, you know, when you when you feel like you have to cry, just do it. And I built up years of depressment last year. And uh, one day, it was like right after I had talked to my folks or my mom, got off the phone and just started, it might have even been right before it, just started crying my eyes out right here in my room, my living room. And um, why? And it's not because I'm weak. It's because there's a, there's a quote out there. Most people that cry are so strong, they just hold in their feelings. And... I don't like showing emotion to people, and I try try my hardest to just hide it all the time. And I know that's not good for you either. It causes problems down the road. Um, I can tell you one great thing I did today, and it's not really great <laughs> per se, but I'll remember it now next time I do it. And I'm glad I did it, as I just told my coach. I'm glad I did it because I'll remember it next time when I want to do it again. So I've been wanting to cheat my diet. My Phone keeps unfocusing here, but I've been wanting to cheat my diet for like the last month, probably. Like, I've been just so sick of eating the same stuff over and over. You know, my coach gave me a good book to follow Whole Foods 30, follow that book and find some recipes out of it, but I haven't been craving any of that food. I've been craving ice cream, pizza, very comforting foods, you know, and desserts. And, and I really wish I could still have ice cream. I'm not going to lie to you. But. Today I went to a night's meeting, and it would have been wrong for me to tell them, no, I'm not going to eat, so, and I, did, I was really craving comfort food, so I cheated today, and I ate um, barbecue, pulled bar it was like pulled pork barbecue with the sauce and everything, a bun, I even had some potato chips, I mean, I went out when I cheated, and instantly, right after I ate, I felt bloated in my stomach, and, um, Instantly wanted to, I, I got kind of tired, and I didn't want to believe it, and I'd hate to admit it, but my coach is right, and maybe not hate to admit it, but he's right, and I shouldn't have done it, but I'm glad I cheated, because next time when I think about it, I'll think about today, like, do you really want to feel crappy again, you know, and no, I don't, but same time, I kind of get sick of eating the same foods all the time. And I wish you guys could see it. I was thinking, how can I, how can I show this? Because I'm, I'm on a phone camera, not a regular camera. So I can't switch out from like close up to reverse it, show you in a mirror or something. But yeah, I don't think you can see like, well, like, like my coat here. I bought this coat last year. And if you could see it, you know, like you, I said, you can't see it out and above. And these are my pants. They're really baggy. These used to be skin tight to my leg almost, but my pants, my coat, my sweatshirt, the promising thing, and like I think it's been 60 days, I'll have to check the calendar when I get to work tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure it's close to 60 that um, I know I've been losing weight, I haven't checked the scale, and I'll probably do it tomorrow at the gym or something because I'm sick and tired of not checking my weight. Um, I've put it off for a while because I've been thinking to myself like all right I'll do I'll you know I'll put the muscle on the fat and stuff like that but or build yeah build from the fat get the muscle eat a ton of fat which is basically what keto is get you know then burn it off um just been trying to move forward like I talk to you guys all the time about it but depression kicks in and I think to myself do I really need this I'm really missing food all the time, but I'm glad I cheated today. I, I, ultimately, it sucks because I felt like crap right after I ate. 
Um, but I'm glad I cheated a diet today because, like I said, I'll think about it later. When I think about cheating again, I'll think about, well, you, you felt like crap. Do you want to do it again? So, and I probably will. I probably will because for the last 60 days or so that I've been doing this, I've been eating lean stuff. I haven't been eating bread. Haven't been eating sugars. Haven't been doing any alcohol. Sounds like I'm an alcoholic, but I promise you I'm not. Um, but, yeah, giving up all that stuff and then trying to take in probably the sugars and the breads today, that was, uh, that was a shock to me. I didn't think I was going to um, have that type of reaction to it, and I did. Instantly, it was like, man, my stomach feels bloated, and I have not felt that way in a long time. You know, 60 days, what's that, two months in now? So, um, actually, it's been a little bit more than 60 days. I think it's been 60 days since I started working out. Not too sure, I can't remember, but that's what I've been doing since I've been working out, I think. Um, but, yeah, all my clothes are pretty big on me, but they're probably going to keep showing big on me because I told myself I'm not going to uh, buy any more clothing until I get down to a weight. And... My goal was like, my coach's goal was 200, mine's like 189, 190, um, which is probably skinny enough for a guy my size, because I'm 6'3", so 6'4", with shoes on, and I used to weigh like 160. I know that's skinny, and a lot of people are like, that's, that's horrible, why would you be that skinny? Well, I, I, I used to be a heavy smoker, and if anybody knows a smoker, most smokers that are skinny... They don't eat. When they feel like eating, they just go out for a smoke. On top of that, when I was with somebody, we went to the tanner, like, every day. And I was literally sweating it off every 15 minutes. So I literally, I was never eating. I was sweating all the time. I mean, I was a skinny kid. And in my mind, I was in, in top top um, fit because I was skinny. Was I healthy? Oh, heck no, I wasn't healthy. But um, in my mind, I was good. Um, and then... Stuff happens, you know, I'm not going to say names, I'm not going to say what happened, but depression happened, that's pretty much what happened to me, and I just started tacking on weight, and I quit smoking, and what happens when people, most people quit smoking, they tack on the weight, because then they start eating all the time, and I originally started at 254, and remember at 35 days I had lost 25 pounds, I was going to do it at 100 days, I was going to go at 70 days, We'll see what Monday, what day Monday is when I go back. Maybe I'll just do it at 60 days and see how it goes. So, um, pretty much it. Um, if I would tell you this, and I'm sure people out there watching this might shake their head, but if you need a cheat day, do it. I'm not not kidding you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you straightforward how it is. If you feel like you need a cheat day, take that cheat day off of your diet. But don't keep cheating. Just take that one day because it'll make you think back. Okay, I, I did that. I don't feel good. And you'll think back like I'm thinking now, like in the future when I take another cheat day or something, it'll, I'll think about like, man, I felt like real crap after that. You know, I understand the energy levels I get from eating good foods and not eating crap all the time. So um, if you have to take a cheat day, take it. Just remember what happened to you right afterwards and how, how it made you feel and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty much it. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on the last weekend or whatever. So it's been like the last couple weekends I've been kind of depressed. And it always happens to me every weekend. Even during the week it happens. Like I said, I just try to hide things. So um, <laughs> moral of the story or however I want to say at the end of this um if you need to take a cheat day from anything, you know, just do it. Just take it. Now, it's, I'm not saying it's going to be the best thing you ever do, but it's just, it's going to help you in the long run. So, um, guess that's it. Talk to you guys later. See ya.